This video will teach you about the CHADS2 VASC score. The CHADS2 VASC score helps us determine the risk of stroke for patients with non rheumatic atrial fibrillation. Basically, you calculate a score, and then based on that score, you determine whether a patient needs antiplatelet therapy, anticoagulation therapy, or no treatment whatsoever. If you end up treating somebody, because a patient in the clinical vignette on the question that's given to you needs anticoagulation, you always need to balance the treatment with anticoagulation against the increased risk of bleeding. And to do that, you would calculate something called a HasBled score. I'll create a separate video on how to calculate HasBled. But as part of my clinical scales series, let's talk about Chad's VASC. So all of the letters in Chad's VASC stand for something. The letter C stands for congestive heart failure. If the patient in the question has CHF, they get a point. If the patient does not have CHF, they get zero points. The H in Chad's VASC stands for hypertension. If the patient has hypertension, they get a point. If they don't, they get zero. The A in Chad's VASC, sometimes written as A2, stands for age. And the reason that there's a little two after it, or sometimes this is a subscript two, is because the patient could be given two points depending on their age. Sometimes when you look at Chad's VASC, they do two different A's. The first A, they award two points if the patient is 75 years or older. The second A, they award one point if the patient is 65 to 74. I find this personally very confusing, and for simplicity's sake, when you write out Chad's VASC, just remember that the A, the big A, the first A in Chad, that is where all of your age-related points come in. And just memorize it like you see on this slide. If the patient is less than 65, meaning they are 64 years old or younger, they get zero points. If their age falls between 65 and 74, they get only one point. And if their age is 75 or older, they get two points. Don't worry about two different age scoring systems or calculating it at the A in Chad and the A in VASC. Just do A2, and the A is, you know, CHA2DS VASC. So A2 is the only part of Chad's VASC where you're going to calculate age. And remember, it's two because you can score up to two points here. Memorize it like this, and then don't worry about age anywhere else in Chad's VASC. So that's age. Big takeaway is 75 or older, two points. 65 to 74, one point. 64 or younger, zero points. The D stands for diabetes mellitus. So if they have diabetes, they get one point. If they don't, they get zero. The S is S2, again, because you can score two points here. So the S stands for stroke, and by extension, this also would include a history of TIA or any type of thromboembolic event. So if they have a history of stroke, TIA, or any type of thromboembolism, if yes, they score two points. If no, zero. And, you know, it's perhaps obvious, but a prior history of stroke confers a much higher risk of future stroke which is why if they have this history, they're getting two points, whereas if they have no history of stroke but have something like diabetes, as we already touched on, they only get one point. History of stroke equals much higher risk of future stroke, which is why this is worth a weight of two. The V stands for vascular disease, and actually I would prefer to write this as VA, just again to keep this simple so that you don't confuse the A in Chad and the A in VASC. So the V is really VA. So that second A we kind of ignore. This stands for vascular disease. So if the patient has a history of MI or peripheral artery disease, right, any type of vascular compromise, if yes, they get one point. If no, they get zero points. And then the last S is really SC for sex category. If they're female, they score one point. And if they're male, they score zero points. Okay. So again, if you're going through Chad's VASC for the first time, I don't want you to get confused about the A's because medical students get hung up on this all the time. I'm repeating it now for the third time because I really don't want you to lose points here. Only worry about the first A, and it's A2 because you can score up to two points in age. Now, you calculate this score, and now it's time to make an interpretation. 
If you're taking USMLE or Comlex, this is what you need to know. If you're taking your internal medicine shelf or your family medicine shelf, or you're on a cardiology rotation, this is what you need to know. So a low stroke risk would be a score of zero in a male or one in a female. And if you're looking at this video and you're like, whoa, 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 why, why is it different based on if you're male or female? Recall that if you're female, you automatically are scoring one point, which means if you are a female with a score of one, you have no additional risk factors for stroke because that point was given to you by default since you're a female. So if you are a female with a transvasc of one, that is to say you are a female with no additional stroke risk factors, your risk of stroke is low. The lowest a female could score is one because females always get that one point for being female. The lowest that a male could score is zero. So a zero in a male and a one in a female, we, we don't need any antithrombotic therapy. So no antiplatelet agent, no oral anticoagulant. This is a low stroke risk. In a score of one in a male, meaning a male with one additional risk factor for stroke, this would be an intermediate risk of stroke. Historically, the answer here was that you could use an oral antiplatelet agent or an oral anticoagulant, but as guidelines have changed over time, really the preferred treatment modality is going to be an oral anticoagulant. And that's because there are novel oral anticoagulants that, relatively speaking, are a lot safer today than they were back when, for example, warfarin was the only option. So because of this, a score of one in a male, the preferred treatment would be an oral anticoagulant, and this is an intermediate risk of stroke. And then if you are a male or a female with two or more points, that's a high risk of stroke, and in that case, you need to use an oral anticoagulant. So that is Chad's VASC. I hope that this was helpful to you. This is part of my clinical skills series.